update in the BIOS. I do this for new systems. Uh, sometimes you have to do it to support a new CPU that's come out or for a different type of memory that's not supported by the current version that's on the board. If I have a system that's playing up, I may choose to upgrade the BIOS just to see if it helps it become stable. What I'll do here is put my USB stick in. I've already formatted the stick, but I'll do it again. Some of the new BIOSes will support NTFS, but it's still recommended to use FAT. Some of the really old boards will require FAT16, but most boards will support FAT32. I'll format the stick. You typically don't have to format the stick every time, but if it's a memory stick that you've um, it's full of junk and it's too confusing, maybe format it. Also, make sure you use a memory stick that is reliable. The board I have is an ASUS board, so I'll go to the ASUS website. I'll go to support. The board I have. The board I have is a H97M plus. I want drivers and tools. It really doesn't matter for the BIOS which what you choose here. I'll just choose other. Then under BIOS, I have the latest version and then I have a few versions beforehand. So obviously I want the latest version. Now I know my USB stick is an E drive. So first of all I'm going to save this. Open the folder. Double click. And I'm going to copy that and put that on E drive. Now what I'm going to do is safely remove the USB stick, so in my case it's going to be this one, eDrive. The BIOS upgrade procedure is a little bit risky. You want to be really exact with it. If it goes wrong, it could end in tears. I'm going to plug in the USB stick. I prefer to use the USB 2 ports. I'll unplug the mouse, plug it into the USB 3, plug my stick into USB 2. It shouldn't make a difference whether you use USB 2 or 3, but since this is such a critical exercise, I'm going to use the USB 2. Just be wary that Plugging a keyboard and mouse into a USB 3 port may not be recognized in the BIOS and there can be also problems with USB 2 uh, especially if the BIOS is set up not to recognize the keyboard or mouse after the boot. What I'm going to do is turn the system on. And press F2 to go into the BIOS itself. Here I need to go into advanced mode, F7. And you'll see top here under tools. You have the ASUS Easy Boot Utility. And from the list here I can tell that the FS1 is my device and it's already uh, detected the new BIOS file so I double click that 
Do I want to read this file? Yes, I do. It gives me the information on the BIOS file itself. I say yes. And now it's processing. It's critical that you don't turn the power off to the system during this process. I usually don't touch anything. I don't want to bump a cable or work on something else that could cause problems for the power. Some people will use a UPS just to make sure there's no outage during this operation. It's not a bad idea. So here it says update successful. System will reset. Click OK. Looks like it's worked. In this case it wants me to go back into the um, the setup. I'm going to load the defaults. F5. Optimum defaults. OK. And then I'll save and exit F10. OK. All is good.